Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Julie here, bringing you guys a brand new video. And now today, we are doing my Army Action Figures collection. And I know I don't have much, I'm still searching for some. Um, but this is what I could find. So leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn this way around, and let's get into the video. So first things first, we're going to start off with my The Core um, collection. It's not that big. I'm still trying to find a couple of mine. I think I might have accidentally gave away some of mine on accident. Um, but here's where I can find. Um, so we got this Chinese military dude. He's pretty cool. He kind of reminds me of Takio from um, um, Call of Duty Zombies. Focus. Focus. Whoop. Focus. Okay, you can't really see it, but he has nice detailing. Um, he if if I had a pistol this small, he you could put it in there. And I think yeah, there's another holster up here. But yeah, he's really nice. And yeah, next one we have is this American military guy. I don't know their names, so I'm just gonna call them whatever I want them. I think this was my yeah, this was my first the core action figure. The shoe you can't really read it, but it was a 2003 one. I got him out of like a dollar store or something, but he's very nice. I actually like him. His legs are wobbly since he's old. The detailing is nice. His uniform is cool. He has like a trigger finger. By the way, the core is actually my favorite action figure soldier line because I love their um, posability and stuff. Um, the boots are nice. The detailing is nice. So yeah, that's the Iron Man. This one we have like this kind of ninja kind of looking dude with sonar goggles or or what are they called i forgot what they're called night vision goggles and he has like this chinese logo on him and another thing i should note is he has a knife here you can't take it out but it's still nice detailing it's a little gun holster i think he would put something on his back he came with this like water submarine thing but i can't find it this is like mask is a uh, gas mask and yeah Next, we have, like, this, oop, oop, they all fell down. Next, we have, like, this police dude. He came with a baton, and you'd put it in there. Still can't find it, since these are kind of old. Yeah, he has a cool face. I guess you could call it. Oh, wait. You can't really see it, but he has nice detailing on his face. He has a beard. Um, I, I kind of like his suit. It's really cool. So, yeah, that is the police dude. Next, I have some... I have, like, some, like, extras ones because they came in the pack. So, I got these two. I don't know their names. They, but he, they, this specific guy, who will both them, but I'm talking about, you know, same guy. I like him because he has an eye patch on. And his suit just makes him look really nice. He has nice detailing. Um, his, you know, his back side. And you could put a gun. He has like a gun holster in his boot. Um, close to where this one was. But yeah. Next one we have is this pilot guy. Don't remember when I got him. Um, he's just kind of been there. Um, his face. He kind. He actually looks really cool. I like this one a lot as well. His big boots. And he has like a lot of tubes and stuff. And I don't know what this on his side is. But yeah, he's just a really cool one. Well, this one I got a few years ago. Um, he's like this sniper guy. He That's all that moves is his arms. I thought it was really cool though. And I think he came, I don't remember what he came with. But he came with like a sniper or an assault rifle or something. I can't find it though. But yeah, it's a cool sniper dude. Next we have these three guys. I think I have one more because I remember I had like a bunch of these. But yeah, basically, yeah, you can get a lot of extras with the core because you can they can come in a pack with a character you want, and then you got another one. So I'm just gonna well this one has the best face, I guess. Well Yeah, I'll just do this one. So he has some bullets right here, you can't take them out. He has this gun holster thing. And I don't think he has a place where you can actually put a weapon. Um he has like this headset thingy that he could talk to people at um so yeah really nice got three of him 
Last but not least, this guy goes with this whole playset here, so I'm just gonna push these out of the way. I'm gonna, there's still more pieces to it, but I just can't find the other ones. And it'd come with like an ammo thing here, but it comes with a watchtower. Um, oh wait, first let's review the guy. So, this is also one of my favorites. I really like him. So it comes with the night vision thing. I'm not sure. I think he came with like another one, but it came off. Not sure, but this one's really cool. He has like a scratch on his face. I can't believe it's not focusing. Focus. You can kind of see it from there. But he has a scratch on his face. He has a beard. And I think he has a... No, he also doesn't have a holster, but you can't really see it. But he has a knife there. And he has some grenades there. His back isn't really nothing much, but I like this one. And this playset comes with a watchtower thing. With comes with a turret gun. It comes with this cool motorcycle. And I'm gonna get him on there in just a second. So I don't really know how to put him on there better, but this is the best I can get him since it's very difficult. But yeah, the wheels move, so you can. Here, wait. So you can move this one, and you can move the back one. And it's really cool, and you can just, you know, let him ride on it, go out to battle. And, um, it has this turret, this also turret thing that's on a wall, so you can hide back there. Some bullet holes as a hole there. But, yeah, as it comes with a little turret on the top of it. So, yeah, that's all my decor action figures. Now, let's move on to the next category. So the next one we have, I like to call these the U.S. Army ones, which basically mean, like, just the normal U.S. Army. I don't really know what to call them, but I know this one was a playset right here. So they were actually U.S. Army figures. I can, oh, he fell. Um, so they're actually U.S. Army ones. I think he has a logo on him. Yeah, it's up here. You can't really see it, but this is, I got it at my local store. Um, so... He doesn't have much articulation, but you can move his arms up. I think you can move his head a little bit. Not much. And you can, like, make him, you know, sit. And, yeah, he came with a, they came with a bunch of weapons. I can't find. Um, and here is the sniper dude. And he has this thing on his head. I don't know if it's a camera or whatever. Um, he comes with a sniper and... And sunglasses a little thing to talk out of uh, if you can see same posability nice detail and then the little car thing comes with the turret thing the wheel actually moves and the wheels move i can't i have the same thing on the other side but i can't find it and yeah that's that place that this one came with another guy in a two-pack i got him when i was like four or something um, but he's really nice. He has a nice detailing on him. This is my favorite, um, soldier action figure, by the way. I really like him. He has, like, a little pistol holster, little knee pad thing. Nice boots. Um, some, um, uh, camouflage gloves on both arms. Um, a little, um, American flag. You can't really see it. And another logo or something. And then he has his beret on. Then on the back, he has his little camelback thing. And he has a knife that you can't take out, but it's still really cool. And then last but not least, this guy came with a big plane, but I think I also sold him or something. Sold the um, thing. But this one isn't really my favorite. It's like my least favorite. Because he barely has any posability. And he's like really loose and stuff. And he has no detail whatsoever. I think the, the only colors he has is tan. Um, the color of his hands and his face, and black, and that's it. It's very plain, and there's not much posability going on here. Like, these have the same posability, but they're still fun, though, because you can, like, like make them hold a weapon. This one, but it is just garbage, kind of. And then, yeah, let's go on to my third category. So, third category, I know, I know, all of you G.I. Joe fanboys and stuff, I don't have very many. This is all I could find. I think I have more, but I can't find any more. So, first things first, this is my favorite G.I. Joe. Um, he came with a separate head that you could put on, but I can't find it. It's like this really cool. He has armor on, and 
he has a lot of posability. This thing is like super articulated. And yeah, I really like him. He has this body armor with bullets and this blue scarf thing. And a nice helmet. Next we come to Duke. Just saying, I don't know most of their names. But I know Duke. This one's really nice. Ah, excuse me. Um, and he has some body armor here, some shoulder pads, some like little black strap thingies, a belt, knee pads, and cool boots. He has some nice detailing. If you can see his face. That black mark, I don't know how it got on his face, like right there. And yeah. Next we come down, I know the rock plays him and his hand is missing, but this one's really cool, so he comes with like nice, I like these pants by the way, so he comes with nice um, um, pants with camouflage, a belt, a black um, tank top, with this, he has a lot of detailing on him, and his hand is missing as I said before, and yeah, next we have this guy, I was really little when I got these two, I think came in a two set. He came with like the snowmobile thing. So here's the first guy. He has a little beret on. He came with like a, a body armor, but I took it off. I don't know where it went. And he's really loose. You can tell he's old. And he has um, a black shirt, a G.I. Joe logo. Then we have this guy. He's also missing a hand. Just note the fact that most of these army figures are old. I barely buy any anymore. Um, but yeah, he has like, he kind of reminds me of Maxis with his beard, except it's red, and he has this little helmet thing, and a gun holster, which I think you can put weapons in, um, yeah, really nice figure. and these two are my sisters, but she let me have them for my, uh, you know, little army setups and stuff, so I don't know what her name is, but she looks really cool, has a lot of gear on, and stuff. And then she, I don't know who she is, she has this very plain camouflage thing on, a little badge there. Um, big boots, those must be uncomfortable, I don't know. And let's move down to our last categories. Moving those aside, we have this huge, huge box with flags and army men. And yeah, you just turn around. I only use them once, but it comes with a lot of soldiers, so, oop, some flags and stuff. And then, this is my favorite pop figure, my only pop figure. It's Sergeant Frank Woods from Call of Duty Black Ops. He has mud all over him and stuff. Very detailed pop figure. I really enjoy pop figures, even though it's my only one. So yeah, that was my... Army Men collection, as you can see, I got a lot. Oh, wait, we forgot one more thing. So, these are a bunch of weapons I could find. So, so this, we got this gun. I call this the M1 Grand. Doesn't really look like one. Um, I think this is a MK assault rifle or something like that. I don't know what's their names. Same thing. And note the fact that this has a, a cog on it, I think. Yeah. Ecog. We had a shovel. Most of these, uh, this I found. This looks like a double barreled shotgun or an Olympia or something. Um, I got two of these. Um, I think these are MPLs, but I'm not sure. Um, I think this is the same thing as we had first time. Don't know what it is. Looks like some kind of SMG. Um, this Mega Blocks um, sniper rifle. This, I think, I think this is Snake Eyes' um, machete, or sword, or whatever it's called. Um, shot, or Spaz-12 shotgun. This axe from this, I don't know what it is. Um, a torch from an Indiana Jones thingy, I don't remember what it was. A lightsaber, wow, that's cool and convenient. Um, this little Indiana Jones, um, whoop, this Indiana Jones revolver. An M16, I know that for a fact, it's an M16. And then this, I ripped this off of some kind of place that I don't remember what it was, I was little. But now I just use it, it doesn't look like a Perca-Cola um, thing, like some kind of jug or quick revive or something from zombies. Let me know down in the comments below if this looks like one, I might be hallucinating. 
Um, yeah. So that was all of my army stuff. As you can see, that's a lot. That's some action figures over there. I pushed this side. But yeah, comment down below um, if you like army stuff. I know I'm, I'm probably too old to have some action figures or whatever. But I like army stuff. And I still play with these sometimes sometimes not the fact sometimes i mostly play my playstation but not the fact sometimes so yeah have a great day and peace